here we've got a clay Buddha head and I put two coats of the B brass on here and then I uh, letting each one dry for about two to three hours and then I, I did it I sprayed it on here with an HVLP sprayer and then I put three coats of the C brass on here right after the third coat when it was still wet I sprayed on Tiffany green patina now I've let this go for maybe day and a half what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to bring it from this uh, to where you have a very shiny surface on the top of the cheek and the eyes and the nose and all that so it's a series of steps you have to go to first one you do with water and it's with these 3M pads and this is a 150 means that's the coarseness of it and then the second one will be a 220 and then we'll go up to a 320 and then we're ready to do our final finishing so we'll start and the water acts as a lubricant it's actually going to take some of this off so we're actually going to pull some of the actual metal off of this and where I'm pulling the metal off it's going to make it much much smoother so that's one of the keys to making a shiny surface is to pull off some of the coating and also the patina so that you can get a nice shiny surface off this. So we'll start with a 150, uh, then I'm going to wash it, and we'll go up to the 250. Now what I'm doing is exposing metal. What happens on any product that has metal in an acrylic or a resin is that the resin has encapsulated the metal and so what you have to do is expose the metal so after this I could also patina this because I've now re-exposed the metal and I could come back in and patina this this is if you want a real nice shiny surface this is what you have to do and obviously it's leaving the green and the recessed areas and now we'll let this dry and then we'll go on now we're going to use the two watt steel wool you can already see how it's starting to come up real nicely Now we'll go to the 3 aught steel wool. And now we'll go to the 4 aught. This is why you would buy the uh, C coat, is because you want to do this the object that you put the C coat on is because you want to be able to buff it up to a fairly high shine. Now we'll take the other side off so you can see what it looked like before. Now you can see the two sides. 